Things are getting very interesting. Devin Haney, the brand new champion at 140, gets called out by a welterweight, Connor Ben. That's what I want to talk about right now in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. Connor Nigel Ben, son of a UK legend. He just called out Devin Haney. He says, Let's go, champ. Winner gets the woman beaten dwarf, Gervonta Davis. This was in response to TBV. It says, Bill Haney just said live on the show that Devin Haney has already made the call and spoken to Eddie Hearn on a fight, Haney versus Ben. So this is what Bill Haney says. Connor Ben said Hearn's words when Haney asked for the fight, I bet you do. So this is out of nowhere, right? Crazy things in the world of boxing. Connor Ben is now calling out Devin Haney. Very, very interesting. Now, even more so, Devin Haney was a live in-studio guest. This is probably his first sit-down interview since beating Regis Progre. And Devin Haney, he was asked about Connor Ben because this is brand new stuff. So make sure you guys subscribe. So he was asked about the Connor Ben call out. And Devin Haney said, and I'm just paraphrasing. You guys can go watch the TBV interview. They So the Bill Haney interview was on TBV, as was the Devin Haney live in studio interview. And again, this is just me paraphrasing what was stated. Bill Haney said he got off the call with Eddie Hearn. Devin Haney was asked about this, and he says... Connor Ben, he says he's just like looking for clout. He needs me. Ben isn't, you know, invited you for the fight. You know, he's telling you come across the pond. Is that is that a fight that you'd entertain in uh, cross waters in front of the UK people? Connor Ben don't call no shots. Connor Ben thirsty as fuck. He 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 need me. He need a big fight. He needs some relevancy. He needs something, and uh, he need to get off my dick. That's what he need to do. To be fair, he did say he would come here. Danny, yeah. Danny messed that up. I, I, he, I don't know if he was on the interview. He did come on the show and said, you know, he gave you a lot of respect and credit and said, you know, it doesn't have to happen over there. It could happen wherever. Um, yeah, but so I see something there where he said, where he said, uh, like February or something like that. No, he's got a date in February, so he yeah, got like so, a so, comeback so, so on February third. So he offered me a fight in February, knowing I just fought. Like he called the shots, like he's somebody. Like nobody give a fuck about Conor Ben. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he was saying fight on that day. I think he was going earlier today. Wow. So that was Devin Haney's response. He says Connor Ben need to stay off my dear. And he says he's not relevant. He's searching for some relevance. He needs me to sell out a fight. And then the the boxing voice they came out and almost corrected the situation and said he did say to be fair that he's willing to fight you. And he's willing to fight you in America or wherever need be. So he wasn't demanding that the fight happens. Now, the other thing, I don't think Devin Haney quite understood what they were saying because they were saying that Connor Ben has a fight lined up for February, but then after in 2024, after that February fight, granted he wins, he would be available. And Devin Haney says, how is he going to, offer me a fight in February and I just got out of a fight with Regis Progray. He don't call no shots. He need to get off my dick. Da, 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 da. So I don't think Devin Haney quite understood what they were saying. Connor Ben wasn't saying that Devin needs to come see him by February. He was saying that he had his own fight lined up for February. So that's the call out. Connor Ben, I showed you Make sure you guys check out the full interview where Devin Haney is responding to this. But now here's the thing that a little bit confusing for me. But again, this wasn't my interview. The first that I showed you. 
this particular one was from TBV. And it says Bill Haney just said live live on the show that Devin Haney has already made the call to spoke and spoke to Eddie Hearn, right? About Haney versus Connor Ben. So that's what his trainer and father said. But then Devin Haney was almost like kind of negative about Connor Ben saying he needs relevance and you know basically he needs me to sell out a fight and how's he going to offer a fight so that that part kind of confused me to be fair it confused me if you got off the phone like it says Bill Haney just said live on air that real Devin Haney has already made a call and spoke to Eddie Hearn on on fighting Devin Haney versus Connor Ben in Hearn's words when Danny ha when Haney was asked for the fight I bet you do right but then the response that we had from Devin Haney when he was the live in studio guest he sound like basically like Connor Ben was clout chasing him and from my understanding Connor Ben was just responding to this notion with his name in it cuz he was tagged in it right so he's like let's go champ so he was just basically responding to the news that had his name and he's saying he's down for it so i don't really get what's going on there as far as the fight i mean that's any any fight in a new division is potentially tough devin haney he rehydrated 25 pounds the california state commission report said so he definitely has the size where he could go up he also has ring iq and that was shown against a lethal puncher in Regis program however as you keep moving up in weight guys their their reach gets longer the guys typically get a little bit taller sometimes stronger more durable better chins things like that so yeah it would be a dangerous fight for both Devin Haney has showed his boxing ability and prowess and Connor Ben is a big puncher the other aspect is Connor Ben failed a PED test so they would have to make sure everything's on the up and up, especially in the new weight class. Frame wise, like I said, Devin Haney could definitely go up if he's rehydrating to almost a super middleweight. But based on Devin Haney's kind of response, I don't know if that would be the next order of business. The way he said that Connor Ben needs me and and, you know, basically he's clout chasing. That's how I took that interview. He didn't really sound too like too engaged in like entertaining a Connor Ben fight. He's saying, how's he going to offer me a fight and blah, blah, blah. It sounded negative. So with that being said, I don't think the fight will happen next, but we'll see. The thing with me is I'm not big of, I'm not a big fan of rapid weight jumping up. If you just had one fight at 140, you felt good. Why not explore that? Why not stay at 140, explore that? Try to fight some of the other people, maybe unify with Subriel Matias, get a Ryan Garcia, a Teofimo Lopez. I, I just think moving up in weight in this new era is almost disrespected. It's almost a disrespected, like people are just fluctuating through the weights. Like Jermail Charlo thinks he can move up 14 pounds and beat Canelo. And then we watched the fight and then it wasn't. And again, Jermail's his own fighter, Devin Haney's his own fighter. So I'm not saying that Devin Haney would absolutely win or lose versus Conor Ben because at the end of the day, Conor Ben, he's never fought anyone that I think is as good as Devin Haney. So the jury is still out. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered about Conor Ben as well, especially a clean Conor Ben. His last fight, he had a very durable guy. I know the guy later failed a PED test, but I mean, it took him some rounds to figure him out. Devin Haney, a completely different puzzle. Now, the other thing that I did mention is, or that I did notice, I guess you could say, is with Devin Haney saying, who is he? He's a nobody. He needs me to sell. And he's like, basically, he A-sided Connor Ben, like Connor Ben needs me. But it's, it's funny because when Gervonta Davis is the A-side between anybody, 130, 140, in that range, Devin Haney doesn't seem to want to play the the b the b side versus tank davis but then if you listen to that interview in its entirety he kind of a-sided connor ben you know 
like, oh, who's he? He needs me for relevance and blah, blah, blah. So the A side stuff is is I feel like people are picking and choosing when the A side is applicable. Like Devin Haney is using all his clout, all of his power, his belt, and the the namesake and the brand in situations where he's earned it. And he's saying, like, yo, I'm the A side. Connor Ben needs me to sell out, blah, blah, blah. Who is he? Who is this guy? Almost like insulted that Connor Ben wants to fight him. But then at the same token, Devin Haney wants to fight Gervonta Davis as well. And I truly believe Davis, Tank Davis, is the A side in that equation. So it's funny how the A side is is working and almost accepted in certain situations. Like some people say, oh, don't don't fight Connor Ben. And he's the B side, but it sounds like, at least from what I gathered, it sounds like they even told that to Devin Haney. They said he's willing to fight you wherever. But again, for me, I, I'd rather see Devin Haney stay at 140. The whole 47, I mean, they his team opened the floodgate with 47 because they talked about it. They were talking about fighting Barrios and Keith Thurman. So, of course, you're going to get people like Connor Ben. And other 47 pounders like Jerron Ennis. And then these names are going to start becoming synonymous because each weight class is its own. And although Devin looks sensational versus Regis Progray, going up to 47, that's his own ball game. So Devin Haney, he definitely has a lot of options on what he wants to do next. I guess we'll have to see. Does he campaign and fight his mandatory Sandor Martin in his next fight? Does he take another 140 pound fight or is he really trying to move up already after just getting to 140? Is he trying to move up to 47? So some questions will be answered as far. I'm not going to really, to be honest, spend too much time on unless more stuff comes up. But at this current moment, I'm not going to spend too much time on a potential Connor Ben fight. Despite them both kind of working with Eddie Hearn, I don't see that fight happening next, especially with how Devin Haney responded to it. And again, we don't know if he's even moving up to welterweight. For more top news in boxing, subscribe to my channel, Best in the Business. And it's not even close. Boxing Ego, and I'm out.